Welcome back to Wicked Auto. So today we're doing an install of cab lights. So if you're looking uh, through all of my research, there are a ton of companies that offer cab lights anymore, but they're all drill. I'm not drilling into the roof of my truck. It's just not gonna happen. I don't, I know that I would mess it up somehow. It would leak somehow. I'm not, I don't wanna dick with tearing the headliner off and all of that, I'm just not. I'm not that involved. So, there's an option for wireless cab lights. And I got them. They showed up today, uh, it's Cab Over America. They are now 398, they were 498. It's a little steep, don't get me wrong, but with how they are made and engineered and all that, I get the cost, right? So let's go ahead and look at the box and see what just showed up today. Okay, so this is the box. The only thing I took out were the instructions. Uh, we don't need them. So you do get two uh, remotes, which I'm just gonna leave in the truck. Uh, alcohol pads, you get a fabric tape measure, but I say fabric because it's not a, like a legit, it's the soft flexible, like little rope. But the difference is it's zeroed out in the middle. So you can zero it in the middle on your truck and then go out from there to properly measure where you want your lights. Of course, you get the uh, rubber mounts for them. I got smoke lenses. You can, of course, get uh, smoked, clear, or amber lenses. Uh, these are the plates that go on the truck. See, they just stick on with 3M. Now, apparently this 3M is extremely strong. Uh, it Like, it's gonna take some real force by you to get these off to remove them. You can remove them, of course. That's the beauty of this, but it's gonna take some effort. Um, you also get, because you can, these are the lights here. Uh, there's five of them, and they're white lights. But you get these covers to put on the edge of the lights to make them amber lights instead. One of them kind of makes the lights yellow. Uh, you need to put two over it if you actually want amber lights. Uh, two over each light. So let's go ahead and I'm going to grab a real tape measure. And so I can measure the hood or the roof itself. And then we'll go from there. Let's go ahead and get these installed. All right, I do want to add, stay through through the video. I know everybody has a different opinion of cab lights, but especially on a 1500. Uh, but I believe that this truck is big enough that it's not gonna look dumb. So wait till they're on and you let me know. All right, so it's kind of impossible to be able to continuously video this. Obviously I can't have it in front of me. Uh, that's what, two, three feet? Yeah, my little stick for the camera is not that tall. So I'm gonna have to do it in steps. So what I did was I took the tape measure, my regular tape measure from the edge here to the edge here and I got 54 and a quarter or 54 and a half, sorry, 54 and a half. So center mark is 27 and a quarter. So with the regular tape measure, I went ahead and did that and placed this tape, the straight side down to make that straight line. Then on the zero mark on the tape measure that is included, I put that on there and put the tape on top to stick it. Then to make this level or straight across, the corner over here, right where the corner of the metal meets the windshield. Uh, use the 3M that comes along to secure this right there, which came out to 26. Same thing on this side. Straight along with the, in the corner where the metal of the roof meets the windshield, 26, and 3M that down. So now I'm just gonna put, cause I'm just gonna go ahead and put the lights even with the antenna. So it's gonna basically almost touch this. So it, it'll make it easier that way. It's all perfectly measured. Now I just gotta figure out where I want them. Okay, so to get to make sure that the back side isn't twisted one way or the other, because like I said, I lined up the front edge right up against the tape itself. So to get this side straight, this is what I did. I just took some tape and put it right up against the edge of the plating itself and then put a line right 
directly in the center of each peg. So when I peel the backing off and go to lay it back down, this peg with my measurement in the tape, this peg with my mark on the tape, and then the edge, I mean, it'll sit right there, but as long as each line is lined up, then I know they're straight, right? <clears throat> the rest of it, I basically just kind of eyeballed. I went off the front here to make sure up against the tape, the space on each side is equal, right? The whole way across. So that's how I did it. Uh, you can do however you want. Um, but before you put them down, you want to bend them kind of so it shapes to your hood because they come out perfectly flat, right? And it's just an aluminum. So you just kind of shape it to your hood or hood, <laughs> your roof. So there's no gaps, you know, right? All of it is sticking down. Now, just to test, I, and how I laid them down, I laid the front first and then the back. And even with just this little bit of the front, you know, I'm not even an inch of the 3M, right? Less than that was sticking. It was not moving. It, it didn't want to come up. I was going to bend the plate the opposite direction to pull it back up. So these aren't going anywhere, but they're where I want them. So let's go ahead and put uh, the rubber piece on here. And then we'll be putting the lights in. So let me grab the rubber piece here. And it does help that I have the sunroof. Uh, that's where I'm sitting currently. So you just put the rubber piece over the bolts that are coming through the bottom piece. And then your light sticks in there and then the lens screws on top. And that's it. So we're already done. I'm telling you this took 15 minutes max. It's easy and let's go ahead and put all of these on and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so to help you guys out, if you go on the Cab Over America to buy these lights, you have different options, right? You can get smoke lens, an amber lens, a clear lens, you can get white lights, you can get amber lights. Well, they always send those amber plaque little sticky things that go on the top of the lights. So I got amber lights though not the white well if you see the lights themselves are not actually white so they have an amber tint to them already now that second one in it's I know it's daylight so it makes it a little difficult but hopefully you can tell that that one's a little more amber colored because I put one of the amber sticky covers over that one. Now, without the lens on any of those lights, I started the truck because I want them to match these lights, right? I don't want them different. And just one of those without the lens matches perfect. So I'm gonna throw a lens on and make sure that it still matches. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up of the differences within the options that you can get. Okay, so I threw the one lens on. You can see that here. So you can see that that one with the lens is more amber colored than the rest, even though they're amber, right? So just to give you guys a heads up, but even with the lens on, it, the one that I put the cover on matches these lights perfect. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put one of the amber covers on each one of the lights, put the lenses on, screw it down. We're done. Okay, while I'm up here, before we wrap this up, I wanna point out something so you guys don't make this mistake. These little tiny nuts that go onto the bolts, be careful with them. First, you don't wanna lose them. I mean, they're extremely small, but you don't wanna over tighten. The top, if you can see that through the plastic, the top of the nut will punctures right through, the bolt punctures right through that. So you wanna be careful not to over tighten. Let's take a look. All right. All done, what do you guys think? So this is of course just sitting there, not on. I think it looks good. I do. The truck is big enough that the cab lights go with it. If it was a stock uh, SLT 
Denali, whatever regular lower trim that sits lower, I don't think it would look good. I don't, I'm not one that thinks cab lights look good, period. It has to be a big enough truck. I do think this one looks big enough. I do. I think it looks good. Uh, let's turn them on here. Now, on the remote, so if it'll focus, there you go, you have two buttons. So this one is on, that one's off. You wanna hold it until all the lights are on so they stay in sync. If they're not in sync, you have to take the one that's not in sync far enough away that you can turn it on by itself without those coming on. But let's go ahead and turn these on. Seriously, we already have one out, out of sync. There we go. You just gotta hold it apparently. Maybe the charge is probably low. I just took them out of the box and obviously it's not sunny outside at all. But what do you guys think? Man, it just looks good. Smoke lenses really top it off. Whew. Yep, I'm happy with it. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. As usual, uh, like, subscribe. Also, as usual, I will put the link in the description below. The links for any part that I put on this truck will always be in the description. The antenna is in the description. The level, the upper control arms, the description. The hood scoop in the description. The light shield in the description. The only thing I don't have in there is the, the wheels and the tires. Uh, but as we continue to move along, more links will get added. But man, I'm, I'm really happy with that. Uh, see y'all next time. Like, subscribe.